Hey guys and welcome to another Bishoyo haul. <laughs> I'm Kyoko and I'm Safira. If you want to see more figure related content, please subscribe to our channel. Lately we have been blessed by the figure gods and we bought a couple of Bishoyos before. If you haven't seen the video, check it out. And since we had trouble uh, deciding which uh, figure goes to which person, we just bought a couple of them again <laughs> so that everybody can have everybody. But this time we also have a new exciting figure, which and I'm very, very excited probably about. Probably one of the best figure deals we've ever made. Okay, so yeah, let me just uh, quickly show you um, the Michael Myers. I have bought her. We got I, very lucky uh, the last couple of figure hauls, hauls and buys. Even at our con we recently went to, we got a, quite a few nice deals. Okay, so the other figure that I bought is the uh, Leatherface Chainsaw Dance version. And the amazing thing about these figures is that they are brand new in box. So they were never opened and the boxes look in pristine condition. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. And if you want to see a closer look at the Michael and the Leatherface and a few other Bishoyos, check out our previous haul. Or our short videos. I have a couple of showcases of each one of them. Now, everybody, guess who's in here? Who's in here? The most expensive Bishoyo, horror, horror Bishoyo, Bishoyo, you probably will find. And I bought her for an, an insane price. And brand new in box. And obviously, whenever I buy figures at a good price, I, finds them. I am the one who finds them. It's the Hellraiser. Oh my god! <laughs> and I bought her for 170 euros. Which is crazy. Insane. I mean, it's expensive for a 1.8 scale figure. If you know the aftermarket of her, it's nothing. Especially because she's new. She's brand new, unopened. It's hard to even find her. And if you find her, the prices are like... I think there's one for thousand dollars on eBay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me just take a quick look. And her design is just so cool. Yeah. It's super unique. I mean, Pinhead has a cool design. The yes. movies are, no offense, the movies are not the best, but his design is. I have, I just have a thing for cool monster designs. Obviously. Are you ready to open the box? The box. You opened it. We came. Okay. I'm very excited. And now you almost have all the, the horror we show your characters. You're only missing Freddy and Jason and Tiffany. Yes. Um, yeah, but I'm. I don't really need Tiffany. If I find a Jason, I'll take him. But with um, Pinhead, I have everyone I really, really wanted to have. Yeah. And I never thought that I would get Pinhead. I keep my fingers crossed that I find a good offer for an Edward figure. Oh my God! Ooh. Purple metallic paint. paint. And her base is so awesome. I love her base. I mean, most of the hobby show figures have cool bases, but the pinhead Can one you is. Get out the base. Let me have a whole new level. Oh my god, the painting! The paints are really, really nice. I did know she had like this um, purpley metallic shimmer. There are some uh, paint issues I uh, just noticed, but. Ew, it's her skin that's peeled at the nipples. <laughs> Ew, that's disgusting. Well, really cool. What disgusting. So here we have the base. Is it supposed to be flesh? Yes, I or think muscles? so. Or muscles? I haven't seen the movie yet, so I don't know anything about this beautiful lady. Okay, yeah. Ew, and the, the heels are going through the back of her foot. It's so disgusting, yeah, yeah, I love it. I hope that she will stand if she is put on here, because like this, it's not standing. But the the colors and the paints are really, really nice. There are a few blotches and yeah. um, unevenly painted uh, things, but... Yeah, she's an older figure. I don't know when she was released. And I, funnily enough, I read on my figure collection that when she um, was released, she really hit the bargain bin. Nobody wanted her. And now she's like the most expensive horror be show you. Yeah. Very dynamic pose. Yes. And I don't think there are very many bold anime girls. <laughs> She's not too sturdy, but she stands. Okay, yeah, maybe you have to lean her against the wall a little bit. She does make an impression. Yes, she's awesome. I really love the black and gold base ornament. Oh. And honestly, the purpley metallic shimmer paint is super nice. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. Super cool. But she does have quite a few paint mistakes, like here. Yeah. On the back there. You can see that she's one of the older ones. 
I'm very excited. I can't wait to put her next to my um, other Bishoyos. The attention to detail is amazing. amazing. There's really a lot going on. Yeah, and the sculpting of the hands and the feet, it looks amazing. Which one of the horror Bishoyos is your favorite? Please let us know in the comments and see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.